Bonjour Mzansi, this is still Africa United and uh, we are bringing you an exciting segment where we just hijack one of our analysts and today alongside me is the bold and the beautiful Bonjour Pumuzo. Como ça va? I, for me it ends there. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, i there you go. There you go. It's simple. It's still Africa. Yes, Bafana Bafana is not there, but we are allowed to speak our, our South African languages. But quickly, I just want to find out from you. It's still early days, but what is your assessment of the tournament so far? I think looking at the tournament, um, the opening games are always cagey. You, you have to expect that. Um, the teams are still adjusting to the conditions because uh, players are coming from Europe uh, to go to the heat. In, in Cameroon, the humidity in Cameroon, so uh, players are still adjusting, uh, teams are adjusting, technical teams are adjusting, so that's what is going on at the moment. That's, that's the feel I have after watching a couple of games. Let's wait for teams to play their second, third game and we'll be able to assess from there. I'm looking forward and excited for the knockout stages. The knockout stages is where it normally goes down, but also you, you did speak about it's very cagey and that is what it has been because we haven't seen too many goals. Why do you think is that? We have not seen uh, too many goals, um, but um, I was excited by the Cameroon Ethiopia game. Uh, it gave us five goals and uh, in, in one game. That's one of the, the games that are exciting for me. So also in that game, we saw Vincent Abubakar. Um, he's the captain of Cameroon. Um, has played for the likes of Besiktas, uh, has played for, for FC Porto in, in, in Portugal. His experience has been key for Cameroon. Four goals so far. What is exciting me about that is in the previous edition, the top goal scorer had five goals. It was Igalo from Nigeria. He is not part of this AFCON. Now it already says in two games, we have four goals already. So I'm going to say Gula Gula five. Gula five, yeah, 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 last competition. But as a team, they are not yet scoring a lot of goals, but I'm anticipating more as the games unfold. Mm. We are indeed anticipating more. Last question before I let you go. It's still early days, Mara. Let's put your head on the block. Oba no hamba nale afkwan. It's going to be a difficult one. Um, I thought that uh, the Algerian team coming into the tournament with 39 games unbeaten, I thought um, they are going to be exciting. They drew against Sierra Leone, a little bit disappointing. Um, but when you're looking at the dark horses, um, I will have to give it to, to Cameroon to say they are playing at home. They know the conditions. They've got the 12th player, who, which, is, which is the crowd. They are one of those that I'm looking at, at uh, excelling. You can't forget uh, the countries with superstars, uh, Saudi money already scoring a goal for, 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 for Senegal. We are still waiting for, for Salah. We are still waiting for Salah to open his account. Uh, he's yet to open his account. So they, they, there's a couple of them that you, that you can look at. But um, Cameroon for me, I think they're going to shock a lot of people. You might be asking why I'm saying that. Yeah. I'm saying that Cameroon. I'm saying that I'm saying that I'm saying that I'm saying that I'm saying they're not impressed. Ma Mamela, I'm 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 kumbuze lo sisi ne. Ubuti Cameroon ya wini Afcon mo 2017. Le coach, e coachi va fana va fana manje. Iyo lebe coachi Cameroon. Umchele lo sisi lo. Umchele. Nani kala nimchele mani mbona ne? But that is what we have so far. We'll keep bringing this to you, man. I mean, we have Pumuto Maneza today. Next time, you might never know who we'll have giving us a tactical breakdown of what is happening so far in Cameroon for Afcon 2021. Thank you.